Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you week 3 of WWC. Uh, team Builder, your Chicago Bear Ticks, which I currently have the Charizards up. Chicago Bear Ticks, taking on Slick Panther and the Cleveland S. Cavaliers. Last time I played Slicky 5-0'd me, so the goal is to not get 5-0'd by Slick again. We are coming off of that... Um, 1-0 win versus Renegan after clutching it out with Manaphy. Uh, you can see the team I've got, the Mega Metagross, Kieran Black, Mimikyu, Infinite, Manaphy, Jolteon, Nidoking, Mandibuzz, Whimsicott, Licky Licky, Meganium, and Corsola. Slick was the first overall pick and decided he needed to take Evaltol. Not only that, he's got Mega Gallade, Jirachi, Volcanion, Diancy, Zygarde, Rotom Cut, um, Gligar, what is that thing again? Quillfish, um, Miss Magius, and Verizion. And I'm not getting swept by Verizion again like I did in APA. Anyways, um, yeah, so he decided he needed to have Evaltol, Volcanion, Diancy, and Zygarde. All of Gen 6 is like legend. <laughs> he's missing Xerneas and he's got the trifecta. Um, that Evaltol is just such a pain in the ass to try and deal with. Um, so I'm going to slide this over here. Let's see some of the calcs that I was running. So, kicking things off, we do have um, Kiram here, Kiram Black. Uh, with Ice Beam, Earth Power, Shadow Ball, Roost, and the Expert Belt. I didn't want to Scarf, I didn't want to... Because if I Scarf into Earth Power, then... That uh, Evolve Hall comes in free. Um, Ice Beam just hits his team really, really hard. Um, he's very, very Ice weak, um, if I remember correctly. I think he's Ice and Ghost weak. Um, Earth Help Dog here. Um, because I just remember Kurum and Mimikyu looking amazing this game. And my prep help sheet is set to the other team, so... I'm pretty sure he had, like, a ground, an ice, and a ghost weakness, or his major three weaknesses, if I remember correctly, so... But Ice Beam hits the Voltal hard, as hard as it can. It hits, um, Zygar it'll oh, okay, Zygarde. Oko Gligar. He has two mons that are called weak to ice, which was really strange. Um, Verizian's not going to want to take several of them. We are uh, max speed. We speed tie with Zygarde, so to know whether or not he is Scarf Zygarde or max speed Jolly at least, whether I'll know whether or not he's Jolly or not because we tie um, on that attack. Um, 252 special attack just so I can guarantee uh, to put two shot that evolve tall even if it's a bulky bird I should be able to two shot it. Earth power will take out um, Jirachi, it'll take out the Volcanion, Diancy doesn't want to take it, um, Quillfish doesn't really want to take it, Shadow Ball is to hit Miss Magius, it's to hit um, Gallade, it's to hit Jirachi. This thing basically can hit every single mon on his team with some sort of super effective hit, which is why I'm running the Expert Bolt over Life Orb or something, because I just don't want to get chipped down too much, especially since I'm already running two other Life Orbs on this team, one of which isn't chipped, and the other one is. Speaking of those, I have Life Orb, um... I have Life Orb, Mimic Gear, Flare Up Shadow, Claw, Sword Stand, Shadow Sneak. Um, at plus two, the Play Rough will rip through his team. Uh, Verizium won't take it. Zygarde won't take it. Evaltal won't take it. Um, Glade won't take it. Um, I'm half tempted not to. I'm max speed right now because when I beat the Zygarde, but I'm half tempted. Because I want to make sure that I don't get Life Orb Evaltal. Feels me with Dark Pulse. Plus two 
my player. Okay, so... I'm just gonna have to be really, really smart about this. How much HP investment do I need? I need 124, which is actually doable for that Evolto. Versus Stallbreaker. I have Stallbreaker killed. Versus Scarf. I die to a foul play at plus two. So I'm going to have to scout that. Sorry, I'm doing last minute rechecks here. Specs, I die. Uh, specs, I don't die. Specs, I have a 31% chance to die. It's a dark pulse. assuming, or that would guarantee me to live that hit. And then my play rough kills, I'm sure my Z obliterates that base. Oh, it does. So I wouldn't necessarily have to have the SD up. Okay, that's good to know. So if I go 180... Six attack investment. No, 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 I do have to get the plus two because twinkle tackle, like that sliver, I could live with. Um, take that off. It's a two shot. Zygarde. Play rough a two shot. Z play rough doesn't kill. Okay, yeah, so. I have to be very, very careful with that Evaltal. I am going to run back to where I was. Because um, that Evaltal can still kill me. So I have to be. This is where Evaltal is just so, so damn busted. I have to be careful with it. But you can see what I'm trying to do with the play rough. Oh no, I'm not going to attack on life orb. So I do. I do need to be the max um, attack. Pretty much. Um, no, I don't. I can still kill with play rough at plus two. And I live the hit from the specs one. Scarfed Evaltal is literally the only set. That would beat me because it could foul play and kill me. So that is literally his only way to beat that set. So we are going to go back down. Plus two, I can beat the everything but the Scarf one. Uh, Shadow Claw hits the most Magius super hard. Shadow Sneak is a good follow. Um, Garachi, if he's the Stealth Rocking set. Like Shadow Claw into Sneak is a 2 co. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's where we can do this. Yeah, okay. So that's the Mimikyu set, you just saw me talk it out, figure it out. Um, we are bringing Mandibles again as a wall, um, just a massive physical wall. Uh, Roost, Iron Defense, Foul Play, Toxic is, as long as, basically I have to click Iron Defense, every, and once Rotom goes down, I can click Iron Defense every single time. Um, go plus two, and then I basically just wall out everything except the Ancy. Um, the Ancy and Rotom are the two things that can break this thing down pretty quickly. Um, Roost for recovery, Iron Defense, obviously. Uh, foul Play, Glade, just gets 
obliterate, especially after getting an iron defense up, he's gonna have to swords dance, and once he goes plus two, foul play just rips Glade open. Um, Jirachi doesn't want to take multiple foul plays repeatedly. Um, Volcanion, I toxic stall out. Um, there's no, unless it's got Ice Beam or some other super effective hit. Um, Diancy can Moon Blast, but if Diancy's there, I Toxic. Like, I Toxic it and run them out just to get them on timers. Zygarde, this is the same, Mandibuzz is basically the ultimate Zygarde check for me. I always run Mandibuzz this way when I play Zygarde just because I can wall the Zygarde out. And foul play kill it. Um, Gligar doesn't want to, if it's immunity it's fine, but otherwise it probably doesn't want to catch foul plays, um, plus I can set up on it. Quillfish, I'm passive really on that. Um, this Magius is an issue, um, especially if it's Specs with Magius with Dazzling Gleam. Uh, or Shadow Ball, actually. Um, oh, no, that's the wrong count. Mandibuzz, that's what set. Um, Power Gem is the issue, but Foul Play is actually a two-shot, so you wouldn't necessarily be able to set up on me. Because I would live a Power Gem, and uh, yeah, I'd Foul Play on his Nasty Plot on the second one I'd get him. Uh, the biggest thing is Verizon. That thing comes in on me, I'm screwed. Because so Verizian, um, Diancy, and Rotom are the three things that really shut me down. Um, because foul play being my only move, I don't want to give that Verizian a boost. Um, so I might be clicking Toxic quite a bit until I remove those three, and then Mandibuzz can come in and wall again. Toxic's the only thing that ruins this set. So as long as I have the Lumberry, I can heal one Toxic. Um, then I know it's toxicing, um, and maybe I go into Nido King or something to absorb it if I can, but yeah. We are literally building the wall again to take on, and I'll show you the Calcon Blade. There we go, assuming Swords Dance Mega. His CC does not do enough, um, once he CCs. My foul play automatically kills him, so Blade can end even at plus two attack, I still live the hit. So I'm guaranteed to kill him. Even at plus two. With uh or with foul play, I'm guaranteed to kill him. Um, and his CC can't kill me. So and the Zygarde Calc. Um base, I'm doing that. That's all his thousand arrows is really doing. 21 to 29, so he has to DD ain't D dance up. Um, I think he has to get to like plus five to beat. Might be plus six. Yeah, he's got to get to plus six to guarantee to potentially Oko me. 18% chance to Oko me. Um, and as soon as he starts DDing, I just put up like, iron defenses and we go right back to where we were. One iron defense, and he's got a two. He has a chance to two shot me, but I can roost, and then I foul play, and he's dead. So. Yeah, so this thing is built to beat Zygarde. Whimsicott here. Um, this is Huff, I believe, that gave me this set. Moonblast Giga, you turn Shadow Ball. You turning to pivot around into KB, Mim, Mandy, King, Manaphy. I want a little, I wish I could pivot more, but right now Whimsy's my only pivot. Uh, Specs Moonblast is going to rip a hole through a good, he's very weak too, I forgot about that. It's going to rip a good hole through a chunk of his team. Eveltal, Glade, Zygarde, um, Verizian, all are going to get ripped open. Giga Drains for um, Diancy and... Volcanion, you turn to pivot Shadow Ball again. His team has a major ghost weakness. Um, Jirachi, Glade, and um, Miss Magius all really don't want to take Shadow Balls to the face. Uh, the speed stat is to beat the Glade, so I two shot it. 
Um, otherwise, yeah, I think that's it. I think Gallade is his fat. No, he's got something faster. I just can't think of it right now. Uh, Life Orb Nido King with Sheer Force. So here's the second Life Orb running around. Uh, max Special Attack. The speed stat was enough to clip, I believe. I, uh, beats Max Speed Volcanion. That's what it is. I beat Max Speed Volcanion with it. With that speed stat. Um, Ice Beam, again. Ice Weakness. Zygarde, Gligar, um, Verizian, and Evaltal. Earth Power for Diancy and um, Volcanion and Jirachi. Stealth Rocks for Chip, because I would love to start chipping things. Um, especially about Evaltal, if I can chip it. Again, Shadow Ball for the same reasons why I'm carrying Shadow Ball on other mons. He's got Ice, Ghost, and Ground Weakness. Finally, we got Manaphy here with Ice MZ Ice Beam, Toxic Rest, Rain Dance. Um, that Ice Beam is pretty much... It, it's almost a guaranteed Oko on the Uvaltal on almost any set. Um... The Toxic, so Rotomo coming in on this thing, I Toxic it. Um, Barizian coming in, I Toxic it. Rest Rain Dance is for hydration recovery situation. Um, I cannot beat um, Jirachi with this set. I cannot beat Quillfish with this set. So those two can pretty much come in free on me, but I have answers to those elsewhere. So. Uh, max HP, the Spadef stat. This was again, give, I think this one was given to me by Rosachi to help me figure out uh, where this one needs to go. So with all that being said, hopefully we can pick up a win here. I'd like to get to 2-1 and one, and not 1-2. and two. Um, Let me drag the WWC back over here real quick. It's only two weeks in, but... Where's my draft? They're my team. After this, I gotta play Ian, then I gotta play Matthias, I get back to playing Spare. Like, it's just, it's not a friendly schedule for me this season. And my conference is, after two weeks, already an issue. But yeah, there's a bunch of teams tied at 1-1, one and one, but basically everyone but Thriller and I has a positive differential. And this conference has a bunch of negative... This conference, I'd be third place. This conference, I'm last. So, I'm in a very, very difficult conference as well. So, I, I definitely could use the, the win here. So, with all that being said, I am going to get out of here. Please check out the links in the description down below. Uh, Luca and Jaden, go check them out. Luke is very close to 100 followers, if he hasn't hit 100 followers already. Uh, so, go show him some love. Give him a follow there. Uh, Weather Gamer Discord, best place to hang out with me outside of these videos. Also, come and spectate the league down there. Um, Twitch, I am on hold right now as far as Twitch streaming goes, but when I get back to Twitch streaming, if you want to go hit that follow button, that would be great. Uh, yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to get out of here. See you guys next time.